more than a week before Christmas, and many people still have stockings to fill. If you find yourself in that situation, tonight's Made in Our Hometown is for you. Latricia Thomas joins us now. Latricia. Well, if you are a regular of the Chattanooga market, you've probably seen Mike Markham's work, but tonight you'll get to see the passion behind his process. Mike Markham's workshop runs like a well-oiled machine. I've, I've worked with wood all my life. This retired teacher turned toy maker has thousands of patterns ready to create. Trains, trucks, are probably the biggest ones. Airplanes, car haulers, and tankers too. Fashioned from down trees Markham finds around town. They're all made out of hardwood from Chattanooga. Most of it is walnut, maple, cherry, and oak. On the planer today, a piece of walnut. Over the past three years, Markham has streamlined this process, creating his own assembly line centered around his material of choice. It might not always be the strongest, but it's unique. He says his interest in wood began after a tragedy. I really jumped into it in high school when my uh, father died mm -hmm. and a real good friend of his uh, kind of took me in. That mentor taught him his now cherished craft and through hours spent perfecting this process. He makes thousands of toys a year, saving some for the smallest clients. Little kids with jars of nickels and dimes, you know, and, and come up, what can I buy with this? All from wood that many people would get rid of. So we'll put the wheels. But that Markham sees as his personal calling card. We have shipped all over the world. And while it's handcrafted right here in our hometown, this woodworker says it's where his crafts sometimes end up that make the best stories. One of the proudest moments were people that came in and uh, they, had, they, had, they shipped some to China and said there's nothing like this over in China uh, with everything we have that comes here. And children aren't Markham's only customers. Toy collectors and those who drive some of the vehicles he makes in real life also frequent his booth.